Hello, welcome to Cami Designs, and I'm going to show you how to do a granny square. And I like doing granny squares in variegated colors, just because I like how they look in the end. But you can do it in all in one color. And this is one I started in all one color. This is just two rows of the granny square. So this is row one, and then row two. But how to start a granny square, I do a magic loop. And I have a video on magic loops if you need to see how they are done. Now, so I'm going to make my magic loop here. And tighten it up a little bit. Maybe. Here we go. Okay. And I want to chain two. And I want to double crochet into my magic loop. And then one more double crochet. And I want to chain three. One, two, three. Okay. Now I want to get some more yarn here. Okay. And if you're wondering, this is um, Red Heart and it is called Papaya. And, okay, so, I need three more double crochets into my magic loop. So, one, two, or now two. And this granny square only uses slip stitch, chain, and double crochet. So, there's my... Th Next three double crochets, so I want to chain three. And these chain threes will be the corner, so every corner will have a chain three. So three more double crochets. And once you get this initial one started, it um, will go quite fast. Okay. So I want to chain three and then do three more double crochets. Oh wait, I messed up because I only did two in the last one. So I want to back that up. That's what I get for talking while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> so there's my third double crochet. Now I want to chain three. And then now three more double crochets. There we go. And now I want to connect it to this. But first I need to chain three. So I have the fourth corner, chain three. And I want to connect it to my chain two, which was my considered my first double crochet. It counts as a double crochet. Oops. There we go. And I want to slip stitch. Just like that. And now I'm ready to go on to my next row. But first I'm gonna pull I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna pull this tight. So my center hole is smaller. And that is just one row of uh, granny square. So I want to slip stitch to the corner. So it's one. And I'm going to slip stitch in this one here. So I'm going to be working out of this corner. I want to chain two and that counts as a double crochet. And I want to do two double crochets in this corner here or into the chain three. And then I want to chain three. And this is creating the next corner on the next row. So three more double crochets into this corner section. One more. And I really love the colors of this yarn. 
So now I have to get to this next corner. So what you want to do is you want to chain one. And then, get some more yarn here. Okay, so you want to chain one here, which I did. And now do three double crochets into this next corner section. And then you'll chain three and do three more double crochets. And you want to keep doing this until you are back to the chain two you started with. One chain one, then my double crochets. Now, this is a traditional um, granny square, but I'm using variegated yarn, so that is the different colors. Now, a traditional two granny square is worked where each row is a different color. So I would have to switch yarns, which I can show you that in this video. So I've chained one, two, okay, one more. Now I do double, three more double crochets. Okay. Okay. And then I chain one, and then I work another set in this corner here which is my last corner and if you notice I keep my fingers in these holes so it's just fine I find it easier to guide my hook okay so that is oops three double crochet and I want to chain three and I'm going to do my last set of double crochets for this row go okay now I'm going to chain one and I have to I'm going to connect it to this one here using a slip stitch okay and then I want to slip stitch to the corner here. So I'm going to go into this one here. And then to this one. And you can either go right into working this corner, but I always like to go into this one. So I'm actually in the corner. Now I want to chain two. Two. And I want to do two double crochets. So then there's my chain two, double crochet, double crochet. Now I do my three for the corner. One, two, three. And then I want to do more double crochets. So each corner will have two sets of three double crochets. And my yarn is getting tangled with my other yarn. And that's always fun. Okay. So let's do... One more here. Okay. Now this next one, I want to chain one, but instead of going to the corner, I'm going to go to this chain one gap here. And I want to do three double crochets into this. Okay. I made a mess here with my yarn. So I'm going to untangle it. Take a second because that happens. Okay. So now I need to do one more double crochet. So therefore I have now worked three double crochets into that one chain gap. I do a chain one 
and I now I go to the corner like I did in the previous row and I do three double crochets and granny squares you can either you can set a certain size like you want to make a sweater or a blanket and you can just go until you have the right size or you can do smaller ones and piece them together it's completely up to you how you do a granny square I've seen slippers done in granny squares. I've seen blankets, sweaters. Um, Mitch, my husband and I, we did a Mitch match blanket of all my scrap yarn. So it's completely up to you. The possibilities are endless with granny squares. So, almost done with this corner here. And now I'm back. I need to go back into the center one. So. Chain one, and I'm going to be working in this gap here. There we go. Just like this. And then a chain one, and then back into the corner. And I'm going to finish this row, and then I can show you how to add different colors. So I want to do this corner just like I've done all my corners. One, two, three, and I am using an eye, an eye hook, which is a it's I nine five point five zero millimeter, and it's a a boy, B O Y E, and you can get it at Walmart, um, for just a couple bucks. But there are different size eye hooks. Like this is a 5.50 millimeter. But I have also have one that is. Let me show you here. A. It's an I9. But it's 5.25 millimeter. And this is also a boy. So just keep that in mind. When you're working a granny square. You want to make sure you keep your same hook. Um, but I sometimes work granny squares in an F hook. I can, it's an F5 and it's 3.75 millimeter. It's really hard to see. I have a few of them. Let me see if the other one's any better. It's really not much better. There you can see it a little bit. But so sometimes I will work that in an F hook. But for videos, I just like to use the I hook. The stitches show up better. So I'm gonna finish this round here and then I will go on to adding another color. I know this video is quite long, but to show you all aspects of a granny square it had to be a little long okay and I want to do my next double crochets okay here one Okay, and now I'm going to chain one and connect it to my, my chain two. And I have to use my fingernails because I tend to crochet tightly. So some of that I have to use my fingers to push it through. There's my slip stitch. Now, to bring in another color, 
I can either cut this yarn and weave it in or um or you can work the next color into it and then carry on if you want to reuse it. But I'm going to cut it. And let me get my scissors here. So I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to cut it right at this color here. Okay. And I want you to just pull it through and tighten it. Now, to work the next color, I'm just going to go with this purple here that I already have here. Now, to join a, diff a new color, you want to pick one of these corners. Now, I try to, if I ended this one here, I want to go to this corner here. So, not the, co not the corner right after the tie, but this one here. So, to join the color... I just hold it with my, my sh shortened here and go into the corner and like pull up a loop. And I want to chain one. And then I want to take this yarn here and just pull it tight. And then I want to chain two. But I don't count this first one because I want to keep it pulled tight. So chain two, and then do my two double crochets. And then chain three. And there is my, um, how I joined it. So I will just work a couple of these. And if you want, I sometimes will bring this up here, this the loose end here, and I will work it into my into my pattern, so I don't have to weave it in when I'm all done. So I'll go wrap around this one right here, so it's just getting worked right into my my pattern. And this also is Red Heart yarn. So I chained one. And then I'm still holding that yarn back there, but you can let it go. Depends on how it looks. If you're using colors that are completely different, like a black and a white, you will definitely notice it. Um, but this, it's very good color. and So I'm not too worried about the colors. So I'm going to... Just keep doing my double crochet here. And then I'll chain one. And then I'll go into this one here. Just like that. And then... And then chain one, and then I'll go to the corner. And then I'll let go of this one because I've went quite a ways with it. And there you go. That is how you join colors to a grain square. And so this is my center one right here because I can still see my magic loop here. Now, if you don't weave these in like I did this one. I will show you real fast how to weave them in. And you can weave them in as you go or you can wait till the end. But if you put them all off to the end and you're doing multiple colors, you are not going to want to do it in the end. I don't know anybody who likes weaving in ends. But to weave in an end, I will go down to like, so it, I cut it here, or this is my knot, so I'll go down to this one here. This is where it connected to the, in the corner. And I will just feed it through my stitches here. 
just like that. And I'll just pull it. But I don't want to pull it too tight where it brings it down. So I want to leave a little bit of a play in it. And then I just keep working it around all my stitches here. And this is a yarn hook you can get at Walmart. You can get them in like a three pack, I think. But I just work in all my stitches like this. And there, that is, that's how I weave in my granny square. And they're really noticeable because the color change. But if you were doing all purple, like this one here, for example, you it would not show up. I do not. Oh, there it is. So, for this purple one, and I fold my yarn in half, I think it's a little easier to feed through than trying to get the end in. So, this is all purple, so I'll still go into all my loops here at the end. A little tight. It all depends on how tight you want that magic loop on this one. And then I just keep feeding it around until I think I've weaved it enough. Just like that. And you can tell when it's all one color like this, or you weave it into the same color. That's not going to show up. So, do one more here. And that's it. And that is just, that is how I weaved in just a plain color. Now, with this variegated, it, it is going to show up. I could have went this way and it would have blended in more. But I did not do that. But I can... Easily pull it out and do that if I don't like how it turned out. So, leave it in here. And I'll try going this way and see how the colors blend. I and mean, this is completely up to you how you want to weave in the ends. Maybe you have a better way. And that's fine. This is just how I do it. Yeah. But, okay. I'm going to end this video. It's getting a little long. <laughs> so, if you like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe. And the more subscribers, the more videos I can put out. And will put out. And I hope to start giving away patterns when I reach 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. I design my own patterns and I sell them on Ravelry. I'll try to put a link in the description below. And so if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.